Hi everybody. Um, just wanted to do a quick, well I don't know how quick it's going to be, but I wanted to do a live video on hand painting a gum paste mask. And I made this mask yesterday, so it's nice and dry. It's from gum, uh, made out of gum paste. See? Can you hear it? And it's got a little sugar on the back where I made the mold. And I'm going to attempt to hand paint it. Hi Donna, Donna's here. And um, only because it's live, it's a little scary doing um, hand painting. So I tried not to have too much coffee, but we'll have to see what happens. So um, it's going to be a mask for Mardi Gras, even though Mardi Gras is over. I still thought it would be neat to um, hand paint a mask. And also, real quick, just so you know, I'm really I'm going to try and because I have to paint this with two hands, so I'm going to move my camera in and um, try and zoom in so you guys can watch me paint while I'm doing it. Mayor's here. Hi, Mayor. Brandy. Hi, Brandy. So um, just let me get the camera set up and then we'll then I'll start painting on it. Um, also, real quick too, I'm going to have these gum paste masks on my website so you guys can buy them. Um, I don't think I'm going to do them painted, so they'll just be plain and then I'll ship them to you and you can paint them yourselves. Mm -hmm. so anything you want with them. You're going to hear um, my Facebook doing other things, so just try and ignore it. So let me just move my tripod up a little bit. And I'm actually going to be off camera. I'm, I'm trying to set it up in a way to where you guys can can see and then I can see you too. Let's see who else is here. Oh hi, someone else is joined. So um, just let me know real quick, can you see it? the mask okay? Just, you know, type something on there and then I'm just going to start working and that way I don't have to keep fiddling. I didn't want you to have to look at the back of my head either. So just say yes, I can see it. Okay, and Donna says perfect, okay. So it is perfect. I'm just going to kind of move around a little bit. Yeah, so I'm just going to get rid of this chat here. And if you guys could not send me any messages just till I'm done with this video, because, you know, it kind of is distracting for the viewers. So real quick, I'm just going to take my airbrush gun. I have some blue inside my airbrush gun. Let me just grab a paper towel here just so I can check my color. I'm going to put just a tiny bit of vodka in here because I just want it to dry pretty quick. Oops. <laughs> Yes, that's the fun of doing live. Yes, stuff happens. Let me just get this open quick. I'm trying not to get my hands super dirty either because i got to pick up the mask. Let me just do that real quick. I'm just going to airbrush the, um, the top of the mask a little bit. And I'm working off kind of like a template. So, And I need a cake board something to put on the back here. Hang on one second. I thought I was ready, but I need to grab something. I do this without kicking my camera over. There we go. See, I'm just going to do that so I don't airbrush everything in behind my... So I just want a really light bit of blue around the top. Not too much. That's really all I need the airbrush for right now. And then my head's going to be away from you guys, so I can't see what you're typing. But I have some paints all um, on my tray. I have them all ready, and I have my brushes soaking in some vodka just to kind of get any grease or color or anything off of them. So let me just look real quick to see if you guys can see what I'm seeing. Here we go. Hey, it looks good, huh? Who else is here? Oh gosh. Hi, Mayor. Mayor's here. How you doing, sweetheart? I know you guys can't really see me dipping into my paints, I don't think. But um, what I did was I put my paint in different sections and I'm kind of keeping them lined up on my tray so I know which colors in which container. And because I'm just starting to paint, I'm going to just put a little bit of vodka down and mix it. I just don't want to take a huge amount of paint. 
um, of color, it's not paint, it's food safe color, and then just start painting on the mask. Okay, so here we go. Let's see if I can do this without making a huge mess. So again, this is going to be for Mardi Gras, and it's going to have bold colors, and um, That big. Starting is always the hardest. And my hands shaking. <laughs> I just want to kind of make it like a swoop over here. There we go. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just going to do a little bit of it at a time, and then I'll go back and work on it. When it calm down a little, I always get excited when I first start working on a video. i got a drip going over here. Probably should have brought some Q-tips out with me. And that's okay, because I'm actually making this one go down. I'm not going to be able to do, to do a ton of talking like I did in my other videos. And I'll turn it too so you guys can see it when I get going on here. And again, it's, I'm just starting. Yeah, I think Wendy had too much coffee. So now I'm going to do some green. I should have grabbed a little cup here to rinse my brush off each time. I'll just put a little bit of vodka in here to wash my brush off with. I like this brush. I want to keep using it. Now, um, this particular mask you know, gum paste really isn't edible, so I'm going to be adding some little jewels to it, too. I think that'll look really neat. So I'm dipping into the green right now. I'm loading my brush up with some green color. And these actually are just... so you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm going to do some colors this way and then some colors down the side of this mask and then a few off of this side. Then I'm going to outline the, um, the eyes in a black and then do the lips. So it's going to look awesome. And you guys, you know, you guys can do your masks any way you want, you know, and then I mean, you don't have to if you're going to just make um, masks and decorate them. You know, not put them on cake. You can use any kind of paint you want. I'm trying to hold my right hand steady with my left. And I'll probably come back and do um some outlines in black and smooth it a little bit. So I got green there. I should have done red on that side while I had my uh, brush clean. I'll just use a different brush. I'm going to go back to my red. I'm not going to dip the red in vodka this time. I'm, I'm going to just try and go for the bold because it's actually coming out kind of pink and I, I want it to be a nice shade of red. So this one's going to come around. Just kind of down like that. I'm 
Yes, I'm not talking a whole lot right now. Hopefully my head's not in the way either. I'll turn around in a second and see if... You don't really have to um, be too precise because it is a mask. It's hand, supposed to be hand painted and I'm not real familiar with Mardi Gras, but I'm assuming a lot of people make their own masks. So there's no green on this side. Let me just get another brush here if I have one similar. Do I do have another one. Oh, Carl's here. Hi. Yes, he goes, do you want lunch? I'm like, no. He was going to make me lunch because the boys are at work and, you know, the house is empty, which doesn't happen too often. So now I'm going to go with some purple. And let's see, I did put purple in this section. Is my head in the way, you guys? <laughs> Let me just check. I'm just going to dab it on the paper towel just to see. And it actually looks like blue to me. So it's a good thing I checked because I want purple. So let me just rinse out my brush real quick. <laughs> it does look blue. Let me get a little more water. Hang on two seconds. I know it's kind of a boring video. I'm getting up and down. Okay, I'm back. There we go. I don't know how I managed to get blue in there. Definitely want purple. So let me test it again, make sure it's purple this time. There we go. That's what I want, purple. And this brush is a little big. I'm going to turn it just for a second because I'm trying to get a nice point at the end. I'm just going to turn it my way for a second. So get a good point. when you're, well for me when I'm doing this all alone, I seem to have no problems. Kind of get into a zone and you just start going for it. So maybe I just got to wait to get kicked into that zone. So but these sugar masks, I mean, the rail are super awesome to put on cakes. Um, you can get these decorated up real festive like and then you can get those um, I'm not sure then are they ostrich feathers? Those great big feathers from Mardi Gras. Mm -hmm. You can even put those in your cake and then set a couple masks on them. Looks really cool. I'm actually looking for a lighter shade of purple just real quick. I'm just going to mix some in with my vodka here. I want to try and blend these colors a little bit. I'm liking where it's going. I'm just not real positive about the colors. I'm going to try and do a little bit of shading maybe right around them. Let's make sure you guys can still see. Maybe on one side. to blend it a little bit. And I have to turn it again just real quick so I can get this side. The angle's a little hard for me to paint. Normally I would hold it in my hand. And the red, I want to go back and fix the red a little bit. 
I'm just look for a smaller brush here. Na, 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 na. And for some reason, this red isn't as red as I'd like. A little more out here. I have a lot of the colors, Amer colors, but I'm thinking maybe if I can't get that red I'm looking for, maybe I should just grab a, a gel color. I'm really looking for um, a nice red. I just don't seem to be getting it. Hang on. I'm just wondering if I use a red. You guys are kind of watching me learn, too. Nothing wrong with that, right? I guess it's a good thing I'm not holding the mask. My hands are covered. So I just grabbed a little bit of gel color. I'm just going to mix that with a little vodka and see if I can get a better shade of red using these two. If I do, that would be awesome. Just wash my brush out again. I'm just mixing it in the lid. Maybe I'll get... I mean, the Americolor is awesome, but that's my airbrush paint, so I'm looking for a really strong red. Hey, Carl, are you still there? I need to roll paper towels, honey. Let me just check this red versus the other red I shoes and just to see. It doesn't really look that much different. Let me put it on and see how it looks. I'm getting a little more depth using that. Mardi Gras is all about bold colors. I'm going to just turn it a little bit away from you guys again. Sorry. Just trying to get a better... angle. And I'm going to go and outline the colors with black also. So I'm not hugely worried right now. Not sure if you can see how much better that red is. And it will darken up a little too as it dries. There. How's that look? Pretty cool? Who else is here? Carrie! Hi Carrie, darling. How you doing, sweetie? Oh, here comes my husband with some paper towels. He was listening. Just gonna make this one a little bit wider. On the cheek. There we go. I really want to give it um dramatic flare here. There. there. What you think? Cool? Isn't it cool? You'll see. I have a lot of plans for this if you want to watch the whole video, which you should. Um, I'm going to make that green a little bit wider here. Make sure I'm dipping into my green. Yes, I am. I just want to make this a little bit wider over here. And can't tell you enough how important it is to take care of your brushes. I don't know how many, how many brushes, brush sets I've had to buy because I don't wash them and dry them right away. Thank you. Carl, say hi to everybody. Hello. Carl, <laughs> you brought me paper towels, but I'll show you real quick. See, this is almost a, bit, a brand new brush. And if you can see the bristles, yeah, not real good. Hi, Mayor. Isn't it cool? Okay, so now I, I'm pretty good with the colors. I can come back and touch those up after. 
Now I'm just going to work, thank you honey, I'm going to work on adding in the black lines. So let me, could you grab, honey, could you grab a cup and give me a little more clean water and, and dump these two? Because I'm done with these. Oh, and if I spill them, that's just going to be fabulous. I'm going to incorporate some black lines now, if I can find my fine tip brush. There it is. Thank you. So now I'm just going to use a fine tip brush. See? Real fine tip brush. Thank you, honey. And some black. Mm. I guess I'm not used to working while I'm sitting down. Believe it or not, I stand almost all the time. So, oh, is that air conditioner on high? Because I'm like sweating. I'm just going to pour out a little bit of black. And I'm just going to kind of highlight the colors that I put on the mask. Thank you. Just trying to get it to dry a little bit. Just so I don't smudge too much. And then really it's just a matter of putting through some lines and kind of following your way. I'm trying to clean my brush as I go because it runs into color a little bit. Sorry, sorry if my head's in the way. There's no right or wrong way to do this. You can, you can do it any way you want. I'm kind of trying to turn my hand and make these lines. Kind of see where I'm going with that. Isn't it cool? So I'm going to um, just real quick change my airbrush color. I have to get up and rinse this real quick. So I want to put a little more highlighting of a different color. enough to hit you guys. I think I just did though. Put my board back up. Right here. Buffer 
eye. Just trying to adjust it so I don't make a total mess. Perfect. So all I wanted was just that little bit. Yeah, I got black on her nose. See? I can clean that though, I'll show you. Just a little box on the lid. I don't think I have any Q tips out here. Get another paper towel. And sometimes you can get lucky and get um color off. Sometimes you can't, so. Wish me luck. Let's see if I can get this off. Actually, I have to pick it up and lay it down just so I can try and get that black off the snows here. highlighting around the eyes with black. So I'm just going to use a tiny bit of a bigger brush here. And I'll probably do the lips last. So Try and turn it so you guys can see here. talk a lot when I'm trying to paint. Let's see. I'll try and move this in more for you guys. I'm just afraid you're looking at my big head. And again, it's a mask, so you want it to have some dramatics to it. Some flair. And it's Mardi Gras. Okay. Do the other side. I'm really trying to hold my hand still. I've got my right hand sitting in my left hand, like this, trying to keep my hand steady. And I'm also trying to keep it so you guys can see what I'm doing. It's almost like putting on makeup. I'm going to just switch brushes real quick and get a thinner one for the lines here. Black on this side. trying to clean up the lines a little bit. Bet you you'd be real good at this mare if you're still here. Yeah. 
Yep, I can't really see if you guys are talking, but I can see it later. So you can put questions and comments. Oh, this looks really cool, doesn't it? I'm just going to do the lips real quick. And again, it's a mask, so I'm not trying to um, make it look like it's someone's face. You know, I'm, I'm really wanting it to look like a mask. Because it is a mask. I think I'm going to go back and use that gel color that I made and just do her lips real quick. And hopefully my video is still on. Yes, it is. And I have to bring it a little bit closer to me. So I'm just going to make um, a real small pouty. Probably the quietest video in history. I think little tiny mouth is all I wanted. Okay, now I wanted to show you what I was going to put on for some bling. And because it's gum paste and, you know, really, it's not going to be eating, I have all these gems. Aren't these cool? All different sizes. I got a whole container of it at Walmart for like 11 bucks. So I thought, how cool would those look on this mask, right? So I'm going to just add some of these. And I haven't really thought about how I'm going to attach them. I just have to get some of this paint out of my way, folks. I'm going to knock stuff over and make a mess and waste it. So let me just... Ah! See? Just dropped a cup of water. i got to move some of this stuff. I'm crowded. There's the water on the floor, honey. Okay. If you guys are just coming in, I'm working on the Mardi Gras gum paste mask. And we've got it all painted. Um, I could go over it, too, with some disco dust and you know why the paint's still kind of wet so let me do that real quick and then I'm going to add the gems but I'm actually going to use hot glue so I need to plug in my glue gun real quick it's my glue gun just seeing a ton of battles it's probably just about ready to die okay so I'm getting some sparkles I haven't left you guys I'm just looking for my sparkles I have silver, and I have gold. Let's see, gold. I'm just thinking I'm, I might want to just stick with the silver, only because I'm going to be doing these silver gems, too. So, and because the paint is still kind of wet, with the airbrush color, I'm just going to tap some of that on with a dry brush. If I can see where I put my dry brushes. dry brush. And just real quick tap some of these sparkles on. I think maybe just on one eye. I 
think I'm going to leave the other eye plain. I'll just bring it closer so you guys can see. You see the sparkles? It's pretty cool, huh? That's why I didn't want to touch it too much because my hands are all covered with uh, color. Only I'm just thinking the silver would look better with these gems versus the um, the gold disco dust. Just gotta wash my hands real quick. Hang on a sec. Plus my um, glue gun's heating up too, so. I don't have a cake made in particular for Mardi Gras. But I do have this, um, no, no, can you guys see way over here? <laughs> you can. I do have this red and black cake dummy I did last week. Just to kind of give you an idea, you know, it's, it's a cake dummy. It's not an actual cake. But, I mean, put the two together. You know, these put the mask, you know, in a different version maybe of this cake. Um couple of those big ostrich feathers. Hi Holly, Holly's here. How you doing dear? She's my little sister. <laughs> so I'll just show you real quick. I mean, you could do different flowers on your on your cake and then you could put a couple masks, you know, on the cake at, at different levels, on different tiers. You could put them up top. But I mean, how awesome is that? Is that beautiful or what? So, and, you know, these the gum paste, they dry really hard, so you have to be careful with them. They are fragile. But um, you can attach those with some candy melts onto your cake or... But yeah, I did the, did the mask, not doing a, a matching cake to it. Let me just see if my glue gun's hot yet. It takes it a little while. And then I'm going to put some gems on here. Just trying to get this to dry a little bit. She's pretty, isn't she? Look at let my makeup done like that. Now I'm just gonna line up a few gems. I think what I'm gonna do is maybe a big one and then go smaller. Definitely don't want you to fall over, lady. So I'm gonna put a big one on and then just slowly. And I could actually heat up some chocolate, too. I don't have to use a glue gun. But since no one's going to be eating this, you know, I'm going to lay some of these gems out. Just checking to see if you guys can see. Let me see if I can get this to Oh, move down a little bit. It did move down, didn't it? Sorry, sorry. Wendy went and touched stuff. Donna, wouldn't it be cool if we could talk to you? I know, wouldn't it? I could do Skype. Oh, and there is Periscope. I've signed up with Periscope, but I don't think we can talk through Periscope either. But yeah, it would be neat because um, instead of me looking to see what you guys are saying, I could hear you. That would be really cool. So let me grab a skewer. I might need that to add these little gems on. Actually, I need one with a point, Wendy. Of course, I always cut all my skewers, so none of them have points anymore. Got one. I'm still here. See, that's what I was looking for, a point. I'm just going to slowly add some of these on. The good thing about glue gun is the... Uh, Stinking hair should get from it. Such a pain. You know, the little hair should get from the glue gun. Hey, look at that. And uh, now it's already cool, so I have to start over. Maybe I'll just put a little bit on here. Put it that way. They should make the glue guns without the strings. 
some way to do that. And then I'm going to just do a couple this way, and then I think I'm going to do a couple this way, and that'll probably be it for this mask. And I'll go up and I'll clean it all off. I'll get all the little glue hairs off of it after it sets up a little bit. See, stinker. couple more little tiny ones. And you could use um you could use sugar beads too. I don't have a lot of sugar beads. Um, I have some big white ones and some other different shades, but I really like the looks of these. I've got to stand up. I'm just not a sitter while I work. Some people are standers, some people are sitters. I'm a sitter. Okay, that one dried already. I'm actually going to put this in my hand just because I can probably work a little quicker. I have a couple going that way. I think I'm going to do a couple over the eyes too. Never gotten pipe and gel to work, but let me just try it real, real quick if I can get it open. And how often I use it. Ooh, nope, I can't open it. I'm going to lay her down away from you guys just because I don't want to mess up. Uh, just trying to get a tiny bit of glue on there. Now you can't really see what I'm doing here, but I'll show you in two seconds. So I want it to stick. Whoops, that's not sticking. Yes, it's supposed to be a video on painting, but I already did the painting, so I'm doing the fun stuff now. And it's just a really neat um, way that you could decorate your cakes. Since they're not going to be eating a gum paste mask, you can go ahead and put some uh, some gems on it. And if you didn't want to use the hot glue, you can use some candy melts. I'm kind of cheating a little bit here doing it this way. You know, it's a little messy. But you definitely could use some candy melts. Or you could even put your... Um, your gems on while the paint's still a little bit wet. And I don't have any tweezers out here either. That would be awesome. I've always been infatuated with eyes. I don't know why. Beautiful eyes. Sparkles too. I think I 
I'm just going to put those on. Isn't that cool? I mean, look at how beautiful that is. And it really didn't take me that long. I made the mask yesterday and let it dry and then just hand painted it. And I could do more maybe straight down on this side just to give it a little more of an abstract. So I think I'll start with a little bit larger one. Ooh, that's getting hot now. Start with one that's a little bit bigger. And again, I'll clean all this off afterwards, all the, the glue. And then maybe a couple smaller ones. The older I get, the harder it is to keep things in my fingers. See, I'm just kind of going down on that eye. Straight line. I'll do one more. It's actually kind of going at an angle. Yes, my poor glue gun. <laughs> yep. It's been through a couple battles itself. There we go. What you think? Pretty cool, huh? I mean, there's so many different variations you guys could do in colors and, you know, I could go through and pearlize it too. I would have done that before I put the gems on um, with my airbrush. You know, you can get the pearl airbrush or you can even use some um, luster dusts. You could luster dust it, you know, real quick and then do your painting. That way she's got a shimmer to her. But um, any of that stuff you want to do before you put your gems on. But there's so many varieties out there of um, gems and moles. You know, there's just a lot of things you can do. So I hope you like it. And, um, you know, if you guys wanted to order one of these masks, um, I'm doing them now uh, just plain, though. I'm not, uh, oops, my phone's going to fall. I'm not going to hand paint them, I don't think, unless somebody really wants one, you know, sure, I'll do one. And, um, you know, I'll have the time to work on it and take my time on it. So, but I think it's just a really neat craft for you guys to uh, be able to do. I'd love to see you guys make some, see what you come up with. So that's it for me. Let's see, Holly says, could do eggs. Easier start. Could do eggs. Eggs? You mean for Easter? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm kind of lost on that one. Um, and then mare holes. Yes, you can put holes in it. You'd want to. Um, you'd want to put the holes in though, um, while the gum paste is still kind of soft, because you know it, it can break. It gets real. Um, it's still kind of soft right now because I made it yesterday. Um, in 24 more hours, it's going to be rock hard, and then you wouldn't be able to. But, um, yes, I could um, take a small pointed object and uh, put holes in it, you know, in the side so you can hang it up. Absolutely. It's a good point, Mayor. It's a very good point. So that's about it for my um, video for masks. Any other questions? Hi, Marsh. What you think? Isn't this cool? I was just um, doing the Mardi Gras mask real quick. And... Um, even though Mardi Gras was in February. I never got to do my Mardi Gras cake this year. But um, I'm like, well, I might as well do the uh, video for the mask. But even the cake that I did last week, the stummy cake, I mean, you know, it would look really neat on, on a cake. So let me just move this and I'll bring it over. Let me just slide this over. My ribbon. My ribbon back on. Yes, my ribbon's not on right. It's just kind of tacked on. See, but I mean, how cool would it be to have, you know, a cake, Mardi Gras cake? You could have one mask like sitting in this direction, and then maybe one up here at the top. 
you know, and just some really awesome flowers and some feathers. I think that would look really, really pretty. So. <laughs> okay, you guys. Well, that's it for me for today. Thanks so much for um, hanging out with me for the past hour. And um, I'm going to be signing up with Periscope. I actually just signed up with Periscope. Um, it's very similar to face Facebook Live. And my username on Periscope is, I think it's just Wendy's Cakes for you at gmail.com. Um, but I'll have to go look and do the link also. But um, I'm glad you guys stayed. Thanks so much. And um, take care. Love you guys. Okay, bye.